state-of-the-art Japanese animation. Any tool is useful if you know how to use it. Admit it. I am Fist of the North Star. I know Kung Fu. This is the godfather of cinema, and in this video, I am going to review Fist of the North Star, a 1986 Japanese animated post-apocalyptic action film by director Toyu Ashida, who also directed the original Vampire Hunter D a year earlier. Fist of the North Star is set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland in which nothing can grow. Survivors compete for uncontaminated food and water. Shin, Fist of the South, challenges Ken. Fist of the North to a martial arts duel for Yuri, Ken's fiance. Shen and Ken were best friends before the nuclear war, but now things are different. Only one law remains, and that is strength, and those who have it can take whatever they desire. Ken is powerful, but Shen beats him to a pulp, uses his fingertips to drive seven deep scars into Ken's chest, and leaves with Yuri. <laughs> Ken's two brothers, Jaggy and Rao, observe all of this from a high vantage point but do nothing because Rao also resented Ken due to the fact that their master, Ryukin, has chosen Ken to be the fist of the North Star and his successor. Jaggy throws Ken down into a deep crack, but later, a cry for help brings Ken back to life. He saves a small girl and her brother from a motorcycle gang and goes goes off in search for his fiance Yuri and revenge. Before I go into this review, this is a film that you will either love or hate if you have not seen or heard of it. This anime is not cinema. It is not Spirited Away or Your Name. Fist of the North Star is a fun, gore-filled, guilty pleasure that over-delivers on what it promises. And that is plenty of kung fu action and violence. And it is one of the cornerstones of anime's golden age. So, with that said, here we go. I discovered this anime in the mid 90s. There was this little video rental chain called Blockbuster that was at that time the biggest video rental chain on the planet. The one I frequented in my neighborhood had a razor thin anime section among a not so thin section of foreign films. At the time I thought that they were just foreign cartoons like Speed Racer which I grew up watching in the 70s. <laughs> I never gave them a second thought until one fateful day when I decided to pick one up. The back of the box had a positive review by Roger Ebert. This anime happened to be Akira. I picked up another one and the back of this box claimed that it was the most violent anime ever made and this anime happened to be the Fist of the North Star. There's no doubt about it. So I rented them both and watched them that night. I was blown away. Then one day I stopped by a video game store and saw Fist of the North Star and Akira on the wall behind the cashier. The rest is history. So Fist of the North Star and Akira were gateway drugs that got me hooked on anime from that point on. Any tool is useful if you know how to use it. There's a fine line between action and violence, and this may sound like an oxymoron, but I've seen a lot of action movies that are not necessarily violent. Fist of the North Star is violent. There is no live action movie I can think of that even comes close. Even among violent anime titles like Wicked City, Ninja Scroll, and Akira, Fist of the North Star is a standout in that it revels in depicting gallons upon gallons of blood, guts, and pure mayhem in almost every scene. Listen, ass wipe, I need some information. Tell me what I want to know and I'll save your miserable life. If you get off on exploding heads, people being sliced like lunch meat, 
people being scalloped turned into jigsaw puzzles. If you get off on seeing chest cavities bursting like water balloons, bodies being dismembered, cut and shuffled like a deck of cards, Anything that you can imagine and can't imagine happens in this old school anime. You even have homages to the Road Warrior and Mad Max in this anime and I love it. Men like Max. The Warrior Max. Fist of the North Star is a train wreck of action movies from the Road Warrior to Spaghetti Westerns to Bruce Lee to the Incredible Hulk. Chris. In fact, I see a different movie in this anime every time I watch it. State of the art, Japanese animation. As for the art, faces are detailed and distinctive. And all of the characters, Ken, Rao, Shin, Jaggy, are rendered larger than life and muscular like superheroes out of a comic book. <laughs> which more than makes up for being poorly animated against the high standards of Disney. The dialogue and voice acting are cheesy, but at the same time perfect for this type of anime. Fist of the North Star's positives far outweigh its negatives. You couldn't get action or kung fu violence like this out of Disney in 1986. I know kung fu. Fist of the North Star is like looking at one of those old Arnold Schwarzenegger movies of the 80s and early 90s. All red meat and potatoes with nothing green to speak of. Unapologetic and full of manly guys duking it out peck to peck, beard to beard and toe to toe for the right to be the Fist of the North Star. This kind of anime couldn't get made today, but back then, anime was not even a speck under a microscope and therefore had nothing to lose. You had all kinds of crazy and original anime coming out back then and Fist of the North Star was among the best. And it is still among my all time favorites to this day. So on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it a solid 10. Fist of the North Star was distributed and dubbed into English by a company founded by Carl Masek called From Streamline Pictures. Pictures. State of the art, Japanese animation. Along with Akira, the original Vampire Hunter D, Neo Tokyo, Wicked City, Lupin the Third, Tales of the Wolf, Barefoot Gin, The Professional, Go Go 13, Silent Mobius, and many others. When Streamline Pictures went out of business in 2000, Fist of the North Star vanished before reappearing on DVD for the first time in 2009 under a new company called Discotech Media. The VHS version of the film looks great but the DVD knocks it out of the park. The picture is bright, the lines are sharp, and the colors are deep. The sound is also better on DVD. Discotech has recently put out a Blu-ray version of the film but which Whichever way you decide to go, you should add this original streamlined version to your collection while it's still available. So let me know what you think of my review of Toyu Ashida's 1986 Japanese animated post-apocalyptic action film Fist of the North Star in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to The Godfather of Cinema for more movie reviews. Thanks.